Okay. Maybe I should have slept first. What time is it? Oh, that's perfect. Because I'm not going to be able to sleep the entire night. But I'll be able to sleep till about 6, 7 o'clock. It'll give me enough energy. My life will not be full, and that's unfortunate. Go well, almost 9 o'clock because of that. So welcome back to the Infected, everybody. This episode, we're going to be continuing the work on the wall. One of the things that I did... I did go back to the mine over here, and I took the last extractor and transferred it to this one. Now I just need to worry about the trash bin. I opted to do that another time because of how long that run is. And then I also put down the rest of the blueprints to outline where I want the wall to be. And although bambies or the infected or whatever you want to call them, zompires, uh, they don't typically go into the water, but during... But during the winter, I someone said they don't, and I forgot to check. But regardless, visual, yeah, visually, it looks good. It makes it to where I have an area where I can go swimming in. I did put Mike back on cutting down trees to help speed up the process of at least putting the logs in the wall. I put one more gate over here, and I may end up doing that over here as well, just so there's multiple avenues to get in and out. I'll probably end up putting it. I don't. I don't know. Probably right over there. That way, it's not going up a hill. And that's really. That's about it. Been working on getting uh, more resources. I do have copper now. I've got lots of copper. So the benefit of having six extractors is that you get copper so much quicker. And then I had a whole crate full of copper ore in one of the, the chests on the truck that I'd completely forgotten about. So that really helped as well. And keep these going. I love the fact that the fence worked the way it was supposed to right there. Got to keep this doing this thing. So I have got everything I need, which means that I can make, I did make a couple more electronic parts. That means I can finish this. So that's done. I've got my 25 rope so I can start working on a little bit of the wall. I'm going to continue butch or butchering. I'm going to continue chopping down trees to gather up more uh, plant fiber. And of course, Mike is filling this one up in here, so I can, I can fix that railing, one over here. So that's finally done. And does this need oil? Why is this not? Oh, that's... I'm gonna just transfer these over here. Got three. You can only put twenty in those, so I've got twenty-one, unfortunately. So, to uh, get rid of these. Yeah, I'll just make another chest. Because I'm bound to need another chest at some point, right? And it seems like a good spot for just loose items. Again, I will eventually move this. Put these over here. Not sure if I'll ever need planks mass produced again. We can do that now. Seems like a good spot right here. Yeah. I just in the back there, like where where can I put these that would make sense? Maybe just on the other side, like right next to it. That way it looks a little bit more appropriate like you're working on it you pull the logs off you put it on the stands here might be a little close but that's okay put the chest right there like so that fire pot can be can remain where it's at all right so i'm happy with the way this looks maybe the fire pot won't work move it a little bit closer that'll work okay so enough dilly dally Get back to the wall. Oh, yeah. 
No, don't you do it. Decided to go over there and hit my shit and come back after me. has to be Mike. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it is. No, it's not. You. Oh. I'm still being attacked up here. Okay. Oh, okay. Now what? Oh shit, come on. Oh yeah, I forgot to let the hole there. Maybe I'll put another gate there. Oh wait, no, I'm Okay, so why why do I have a headache? Um put this here. Oh, it's because I'm almost dead. Would be a good reason to have a headache. I'll just fill these up really quick. Oop, nope, I don't want to do that. Never mind. I'm going to come over here. I want to put the rope on the ones that I'm working on now. And I can also go get the iron fragments. Ropes there. Or not fragments. Not, not even iron. The copper ore. Ingots. Done. So my goal is, I won't be able to get it done this episode, but my goal is to finish the bottom layer before I worry about any other parts. Getting the doors and all this stuff built, so let's go grab eight copper. I'll still be chopping my own trees because I still need plant fiber. Let's grab this. I got one extra steel plus the copper in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I've got the copper I need. I actually have more than enough. I don't need these electrical parts right now. Oh, I looted electrical parts. That's what it was. Okay, well that's cool. Put this in here. And you may as well put that in there. Okay, back to it. Ah. Now, do you close it? I'll say you close it. Don't. I don't like that. You wh Why can't you not close this? Can you upgrade this? No? I wish that there could be an alarm system that whenever you hear a scream, an alarm triggers where all the doors close. Like a defensive mechanism. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put up the uh, light fixtures, at least, if nothing else. I might, I could just go ahead and build them. Four might be a little much though, but it's all right. I'll put one there. Oh, so I need one copper, three iron, one glass, two electrical. Grab the oil. Bark chips. Another reason that I need to chop down trees as well. Bark chips. You know, I've got a lot of it, but it'll still run out faster than I think. That there. that in half so these let's take out the one one or the five rather but these in half because I only need them in 15 
Okay. So let's come over here, make some plastic. All that oil went away really quick. Just to make 40 pieces of plastic. Which is a lot. I'm going to need a lot more than that. But still. Extra. Here. One. Okay. Make those electrical parts. And I'm going to need these in order to make the relays. And, of course, the actual light fixtures themselves. So. 10, 12. I really hate how they path. We'll start with this one. That one. Okay, so three more iron. Or glass. Or copper. The way. I think that was it. And we'll call this gate light. 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 Oh, one copper, one glass. Copper. Okay. Gate light. Now, how do I want this to work? Obviously, there's going to be wires attached to these two here. I think they, yeah, I'd have to go to relay. So it's gonna be relay here, relay there, there, and there. Let's go put those down right now. So much for working on exclusively the wall. Wall. Kind of taking over. I'm okay with that. If you're a perfectionist, you would turn this just a little bit. I hear that chicken. If I don't see him, I'm not going to go after him this time. Oh. <laughs> that little red dot when you're holding the relay? I thought that was like a target thing. There he is. And I see movement up there too. Oh. Probably gonna get attacked. I'm actually gonna take this one out. Mainly because he's by himself and he will eventually attack me. I don't know where his posse is, but at least he's down. Alright, so we should be able to complete this now. Or, well, finish it. Continue it. Let's grab my cart, come over here, we'll start chopping down trees, and we'll finish the rest. I'll get back to those gate lights. I just wanted to get more of this wall taken care of. 
because the electrical, whenever I find a little project that I'm trying to do, like the gate lights, it, it seems to take the entire episode. And thing is, it it's a ticking time bomb before this save is no longer playable because of a new map. At some point, I may end up, and this will be towards the end, probably in a few months, two or three months from now, I may turn on God mode and just finish all the lights and just place them all down and wire them because I'm gonna have to have lights from where I'm at now and it's gonna travel all the way up here turn to this corner here back to this this cave here then travel all the way down here and this is where it's gonna split and go to these two caves that is a long path and that's a huge project if I didn't have to worry about the map being reset I would do that naturally but because it's going to be reset, I think it's more sensible to cheat, I guess, to do that. So I'll do that in a couple months if it comes to that. We'll see how this progresses. to use Mike's help where I can. Well, these ones near the, the fence, I can probably just chop them down. I don't need to put them in the cart. Chop them all down really quick. Of course, Mike will probably come over here and steal my logs. That's all right. He'd get his own damn logs though. He also teleports. You ever notice that? I was out. Ooh. Bit of a. Yes, yeah, yo. Oh, there he goes. No. Holy crap. No way. He just took like freaking four logs. Mike's a beast. Okay. I think that that little bug that makes me run really fast, faster than I'm supposed to be able to, I think that has something to do with I'm just starting to get frame rate drops because of how much stuff is in the area. Curious how far I can go before my computer can't handle it anymore. At some point in time, I'm going to have to start replacing those fire pots. I know that's causing some some of the frame rates to drop. I'm not getting any memory leaks that I'm aware of. I go finish this spot. So there's six in there. Six in there. Three in here. Six. Six. Two. Um, 
I seem to always be missing five. Find a small tree and uh, get that last five in there. And I'll just throw this in one of these random ones. Just like so. And I'm gonna go make myself another 50 rope. And I should be able to finish some of the fence line. While I'm in here, I may as well go ahead and do the uh, next three things for the cement. Oh. Oh, did it happen again? Oh, that's not good. I don't want my oil ever run out cement mixer so I gotta go back there and turn that on again appropriately okay well that's unfortunate I do want the fragments to continue working as well so I'm gonna go turn those on Grinder. Suppose it's time to start working on that again. Got time. And I need to eat. I'll make another ration. Goodness, it's getting there. All right, I like it. Now, ah, that's stamina. Oh shit! Hello. I was just building something to kick you out. Ooh, out of bandage. I wonder if I have a stockpile inside. Let's use up the rest of this so Mike can do his thing. And just because I had one left, I want to finish it. Wasn't very well aligned, but that's okay. So over here, I still don't know. I may just deal without a gate being on this side. I feel like maybe this would be the most ideal location. So I don't have to go all the way around. I, I have other means of exits. So following the, the fence line. Over here is where I was a little skeptical about how I wanted it. I thought about just having to go around, but fucking the water is okay too. It just doesn't look that great from the wall itself. And then of course on this side it goes around until it gets to this area. And I'll have to fix this lamp. I'm going to do that now because that's going to annoy me. Uh, oh. Great. Good enough. In there. Go ahead and position this where it's supposed to go. That is hugging it, so this needs to go in the front. Could just put these up there now. I'm just not going to. I've still got so much work to do. This is probably where I'll end up putting another gate. Just because it's already as a hole. Oh shit! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, he startled the shit out of me. Don't hit me. Holy fuck. Okay. I'm awake now.
Well, I mean, this will be my victim. Oh, I need to turn it on first. All right, so I guess I'll go in there and throw these away really quick. Don't need that or that or this. Um, I am going to need a melon and a bunch of potatoes. A melon. I want to throw those in there. I will put these ones in there. I'll take the melon. The I need tons of potatoes. I think that should be good. And no, not that. Liver. ration. All right, got another stamina, which is great. That's what I want more than anything right now. It's so freaking annoying running out of stamina. So I got one, two, three of that. I need a pumpkin. This. Okay. This. I don't think I have the potatoes. I don't. Of course I don't. Throw you in here. Go ahead and light you up just in case I forget. Sometimes I get sidetracked. I've got too much meat on me. I wanted... Can I put it over here? Let's see. One. Potatoes, one, three. That'll only give me one. There's a potato. Grab another pumpkin really quick. I want rats in my house. Ah, of course. I would be missing something. Oops. Oh, come on. I need to get more onion. Now, the main purpose of doing this is not because I need sun resistance. I really don't care about that. I think it's only, I can count on one hand how many times it's become an issue. It's more so that I can get rid of the abundance of potatoes that I have. Onions as well. And it provides a use for the pumpkins, which is great. Huh. One more pumpkin. I'll come back. Another thing that I can do, which I really need to, if I grab those, I put one aluminum. Not on that one, but on over here. That just gives me one can, right? Yeah. So each aluminum is one can, which seems really expensive. You think that the aluminum bar, granted, we don't know how big this bar is. It may just be a little nugget type of thing, and it just looks like a full on huge bar just for the picture. Which, I mean, technically that means the picture isn't ideal for what it is then, but. Um, we're assuming that it's not a very big 
piece of ingot. The corn. That. Do it. Put that in there. Resistance goes up, which is always great. Oh. I did this for a reason. coming back and forth in here and I just so happen to have this butcher table I may as well use it get the guy out of the way I'm gonna eat these really quick not because I need it but just to get it out of the way put this one back in there now the sun resistance wonderful um, we'll put one corn one cucumber was it Is that it Oh, I'm missing something. Probably a potato. I think it's a potato. Corn, potato, cucumber. Watermelon, melon. Both half. Drop you and drop you. Back in the day, fruit salads were like the way to go. It was never a purpose to make anything else because it healed a lot and it gave you a lot of everything you needed. I can't even remember specifically what it gave you. Hmm. But it gave you quite a bit. And it was easy to craft. I mean, you found watermelons all over the place when you're out exploring. Go get some potatoes. Perfect. Although, I'm going to be storing these for the winter. I haven't said that already. That's more of what the point of these are. Because during the summer, there are chickens around. And I don't need to really worry about eating in order to get my my stats up but during the winter um what would I call this canned goods canned good I believe it's two ends uh, I completely lost track of what I was saying before they oh yeah yeah so during the summer I've got the chicken so I can always make the rations they're all over the place you just have to find the chicken and if you're one of those people that plays with no foliage, which there's quite a bit of you, um, then it's not as difficult to find those chickens. But for me, as soon as they run into a big patch of beads, they're gone. Uh, and it's hard to find them. And I've lost so many chickens. I've probably lost well over 100 eggs since day one of the, of the season. And that sucks. That's... 50 rations all because I can't find the chicken not complaining it's part of the game it sucks chickens It'd be kind of cool when you chase after them if they would flap their wings they do that stupid little flutter thing with ungracefully fall because I've never seen a chicken fly now I'm told that there are chickens that can fly Apparently none in America, because every chicken I've seen, they they do not fly. Back when they try to, they just look comical. Because their whole body just it moves in a almost like it's spazzing out. And it, it doesn't do it quietly. It like does its gobbles while it's flying. So it's almost like it's struggling to breathe. I used to chase the chickens when I was a kid. Oh, 
All right, so back to the the lights. Now that it's getting dark, be the perfect time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Just let him in. Let everybody in, Mike. And then shut me out. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what a dick. Okay. So I need screws, coppers, and iron ingots. Now I don't know how I want this over here to work. Maybe I can have them both come to this center spot. Can this work? Come on, please work. There. And then that will travel to I'll have that travel along over here. I hmm. I don't really want to have a, a control panel all over the place. So for this particular situation, I will create a junction box way over here specifically for it. Granted, there's already one there. I'm going to place another one. And that means that the electrical relays are going to have to be more abundant. Let's put the spear away. How much time do I have? I really don't have any time. This might be a longer episode. I wanted to get this finished. Uh, let's put this right here. Turn it around so it disappears. You there. There. You. Go. Right here. And I'll have one go from there. Down to here. Then you will travel all the way over here that relay okay so perfect so what do i need exactly i need all the parts for this then i need i'm gonna need to make another relay as well so i'm gonna put a blueprint there but i'm gonna use that one as conveniently ready to go just for convenience purposes bring some water I need to make a bunch of wires. I think I need like 10. So that means one whole plastic. There's my oil. I split in half. I'll grab just 18. That's a good start. I'll grab. I thought I had a bunch already. Take these. Start off with this. The so one, one, one. There's my wire. And I know I have screws. I don't go through screws that often. Or maybe, oh no, it's the nails. Oh no, no, it wasn't screws. I have lots of screws. Um, all the nails that I had, I ended up turning it into repair kits a while back. And now I'm collecting them up again from just harvesting Vambies. So that's 10. So I know I'm going to need some of this, some of this, I'm going to need cobalt, and uh, I think that's it. Let's grab my screws. 17, yeah, we can now see I've got another 50 nails. Eight. Okay. And then this will go here. Why is it always hard for me to grab it? Yes, grab, thank you. Gotta go there. Why? Why would you? Okay. Whatever. Permit. Why? Fleet wires. Thank you. Grab from that one. 
Like, you have to be the perfect distance in order for this to work. Oh, I gotta make these anyways. What do I need for these? Copper, iron, screw. Copper, iron, and screw. that I needed. Iron, copper. Grab another copper. That's the case. I got that one there. Right away. I don't know what's... There we go. There's my dot. My dot disappeared on me. Put this on this side just so it looks better. Grab you. This I want more in... Like, on the wall. What I meant to do. Grab you, put you there, and especially you. Holy shit. Um, on the wall. And. It'll work. You. Here. You will travel all the way. Oh, uh, I need to build it first. What do I need? One copper, one iron. Oh, I need to build these ones too. Shit. Okay. And screws. Okay, so I need four copper, four iron, and probably 20 screws. And then I can finish this project. See what I mean by it takes pretty much the whole episode. It's taking a long time. We're in overtime right now. Two, three, four, one, two, four. This should be everything that I need. I still have four. I'm gonna need more wires too. That's not gonna be enough. That one's done. That one's done. 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 Now I can finally wire everything. Come back over here and grab this one. Back out here. Can't tell if it took. I think it did. Okay. How am I going to do this? I'll stand on a chest. does look like it. So it did go all the way. Let's turn it on. Oops. 
damn stamina keep running out on me. Hate the sudden stop, like you completely drained. I wish you would slow down, Dead. You can see it coming. Gate. Oh, it was coming. Gate. And we'll turn them on. Here, that one on ah, back up here. I'm at uh, two more. Okay, almost. And that would be my front gate. And it looks good, if I do say so myself. That is definitely thumbnail material right there. So, that means with everything else turned on, all lights, waterhouse, street lights, garage lights, all these lights turned on, much better illuminated. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing where there's lights in here. Uh -huh. I could. I could technically take these poles and I can just lay them out here where they're sticking out. But I I don't know. Now that I have those lights there, I don't need this here. So it's can I put this like in between? What are the limits of this? Can't put this anywhere. But I could do though. Put it like underneath. Like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ultimately, when I was making the actual wall, I should have pre-planned to have these in between like every other fence line. That way I can actually see it because yeah, it works. It illuminates enough, so I'm gonna have to have one in each one. So they're gonna transfer from in here to out there. And I'll probably take these off the top because they kind of take away from the effect. This the way. Which is what I'm looking for. So how it's illuminated here is how the inside is gonna look as well at some point. So it's gonna go away from this this dark orange glow, which looks really cool, but it's gonna turn to this white illuminated complex. So that means this to go elsewhere. I can go right here. I guess. And this is an infection free zone. No, they continue to make their way inside. But that's right, because the next update, it looks like there's a little thing that you could put down. I don't remember what it looked like. But it makes this huge um, how do you say this? It's like a dome, if you will. It kind of gives you your area of build. And I think that's how he's going to keep the the infected out. So he's going to program it to wherever the, that's within that vicinity um, does not have a spawn point. That's what I predict. Don't quote me on that. Off, bridge, one, two, main house lights. We don't need street lights. Don't need the garage lights. Don't need the gate lights. Now I will eventually put light switches for everything. And it's so dark without it though. But it's done. I'm happy it's done. That is a uh, one thing checked off the list.
I think the next thing that I work on will be that. So when I look over, each one of those windows will have a white glow. That might be the next episode. I don't I don't know. That's a week from the time of this recording, so things may change. With that said, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a message, let me know what you think. Any tips, tricks, or hints would be greatly appreciated. I am the Ambient King, and I'll see you in the next one.